Poor Gerard Moreno, he's only been in packs a few hours and he's already uh, the cheapest 90 rated item on the game and the, the rate that he's getting packed, he's probably going to get um, even cheaper as well. I literally think the only thing that's keeping his price up right now is his usability in SBCs. But in this video today, we're going to try him out just to see if he's worth not putting into an SBC and actually playing with. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor, IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. So this is the team Gerard Moreno is going to be leading for the next few matches. We might switch in game to a 4 one 2 one 2 as well, just to give him a striker partner on occasion. Um, so what does he have to offer? Well, he's got a 4-star weak foot and some pretty useful traits, finesse shot and outside the foot shot. And then in regards to in-game stats, he has got some good ones in some areas, but he's also got some okay ones. Um, for team of the season stats, in some areas, he's not looking too impressive. Um, that agility is one that stands out to me, namely. Um, pace is decent, but uh, obviously we are going to look to boost that with a chem style in a few moments. Shooting looks great. Don't really have too many complaints there. Really good finishing of 96 and a decent attack finishing stat of 93. 87 composure is good, but I kind of did expect a little bit more for uh, a team of the season striker. Passing for a forward though is very, very good. Good crossing and short passing ratings. And then we come on to the dribbling. It's great to see a high reaction stat and good ball control, but I do wish that agility was a bit better, and I also wish the balance was a bit better as well. He's not particularly huge. Um, he's 5 foot 11, so uh, I guess he's not tiny either, but yeah, I would have hoped for a, you know, a bit better stats in at that dribbling department. That could certainly be something that holds him back a little bit. We'll find out when we get into the games, of course. Uh, the physicals look... Uh, there's a bit of a mix here. Uh, stamina of 85, I, I think he's okay, but it's not great for this stage of the game. Uh, strength of 84 is alright. 70 aggression, not particularly ideal. The 86 jumping is obviously quite good, and the 93 head accuracy could come in handy, but... Um, yeah, the physicals in general, I think you've got a bit of a mixed bag. Um, anyway, let's have a look at chem styles. So with a basic, he's actually a 95 rated striker, which obviously does sound quite appealing. Don't get the feeling he's going to play like a 95 rated striker, but uh, I guess we will soon see. I actually think finisher is, you know, a decent option for this guy, if you don't mind um, not boosting the pace, but I feel like most people will actually want to do that. So the chem style we're actually going to end up using for this guy is a pretty obvious one. It's going to be engine. The pace boost is going to be handy, as is this uh, pretty unique uh, dribbling boost that the engine chem style does indeed give also actually gives him 99 in-game dribbling so uh we'll see how that feels in game i get the feeling he won't feel like he's got that but um only one way to find out of course if you would use a different chem style let me know which in the comments i suspect some people might consider hunter as well which obviously does give him elite pace ridiculous shooting but you do leave uh, some of his dribbling areas looking a bit weak so uh, i think all round the engine chem style is the best one but i can understand why people would look for maybe finisher or hunter finally we get into a game and moreno is going to be up against a very good backline of Smalling and Tamori. Gotta be honest, don't quite fancy my chances from this set piece, but we'll go for it nonetheless, and we forced to save out Handanovic. Test. Gomez comes through. On to Moreno, who is onside, I believe. Good save from Handanovic. Gomez. Really good ball in behind for Moreno. Oh, sadly just couldn't get the ball under control. Gomez. Into Morena. I do want to find an opening to shoot, but this guy wants to go off his left. Oh, nice defensive work from Morena. Not what he's here for, but you know what? We'll accept it on this occasion. Okay, there's half time. We are 2 1 down at the break. Currently, so far, his midfield has just been so much more dominant than ours. Um, I really do feel a difference in the teams. I feel like if Mount was a bit better, we'd be on top, but it is what it is. Hopefully, we can mount a nice comeback in at the second 45. Nice ball. Oh, Marina just couldn't quite get past Tamori. Wins the ball there, but nothing comes of it. Nice. Marina links up with Gomez here. Oh, she couldn't control the ball there. I actually tried to cut back. Chance to win the game, Gerard Moreno! Oh, wow. Wow. That was hard work. <laughs> Um, we have really struggled to score with him in this game. I'm telling you he's been hard work, but in the end, he's actually won as it. Wow. That's one hell of a win as well. That was a really good opposition. He made it tough for us. So uh, I thought Jared Moreno was 
average in that game to be honest obviously came up big with a goal at the end but um other than that slowed down quite a few attacks and um yeah just didn't seem that effective in a game definitely didn't feel like a 90 overall in that match. In this one, Moreno is up against Cannavaro and that new team this season Brazilian centre back from the Saudi league. Nice from Gomez, great play. Chance for Moreno, and that's a great ping by Moreno to be fair. Right past the keeper into the corner. Brilliant finish. Dembele, chance to whip it into the box. Moreno, oh, sadly just out jumped there by the centre back. Nice. Oh, he has taken the bait on that with Cannavaro, who's getting back at us. Chance for Moreno. Oh, why did I go for that dink? <laughs> it just would have looked better, so I thought I'd go for it. Um, unfortunately, didn't put enough power into it. Nice. Found some space now. Chance to go across goal, and it's a great strike as well. Powerful strike right into the far corner, similar to the first one. And uh, we've got a two-goal advantage. We've actually got more than a two-goal advantage. We've, uh, we've got the match win. So, um, yeah, not a bad showing from Moreno there. My punt, though, has to be said, wasn't the best of defenders. Pulled his centre-backs out a bit too much, and that just made it a bit easy to get in behind. Okay, in this game, Moreno is up against Zambrotta at centre-back and some silver, but I get the feeling he'll make a sub. Here's Moreno. I'll try and keep possession here. Does well. Slides it in for Gomez, who's... Oh, I shouldn't have tried to do that. Oh, we could have been in there, and it's ran of all people running through right now. Nice. Good play from Gomez. Finds Moreno in behind. Chance, can he get the finesse? Yes, he can. That's a great bit of play from him. Good pullback and a tidy finesse too. Gomez delivers into the box. Moreno's there. Oh, sadly, doesn't quite connect. Keeper's coming off his line too. Nice from Moreno. Oh, he's done really, really well there to get the ball out of his feet. And once again, that far post ping to the corner has been very, very effective. I'm liking the shot power on this guy. Okay, 2-1 lead at the break. As you can see, it's been a very close game. We've had more chances, but he has certainly had more possession. Hopefully, we can add to our lead in the second 45. It's, uh, it's a tough one, this. Marina. Oh, he's done really well to cut inside in Babu. Here's a chance. Oh, we should be scoring there. We really should. Good save, though, to be fair. Kunku. Nice. Good ball. Moreno, can he get round? Oh, I just couldn't control the ball as much as I wanted. But, but, he's done the job. He's, he's eventually just kicked his way to a goal. Okay, there's full time. Job done, thanks to uh, Gerard Moreno Hattrick, which is, um, yeah, I mean, you can't complain too much when he scores that many goals, can you? We'll see. It wasn't easy work, but, uh, yeah, happy days with the result. What are we saying then now the games are done? What is the verdict on this Moreno card? If you want a quick summary, let's do that right now. Ultimately, is it a usable card? Yeah, it is. I wouldn't feel particularly comfortable using it in champs, but you, you certainly could if you're a decent player. It's definitely a striker who I think rivals is probably his limit, um, other than that objectives maybe. But yeah, it is a good finisher, yeah, but he's just one of them items where you're going to have to do a lot of work with other players around him to get the most out of this Moreno card. That's how I felt when using him anyway. His finishing ability though is class, he is without doubt a goal scorer, so as I say if you're willing to put in the work around him you will get goals out of him but he's not a complete forward and he's definitely not as good as some of the more higher rated strikers in the game and we'll talk about that a bit more in depth in a few moments, I've got a few comparisons in mind. Um, but anyway, let's go through the stats, shall we? What did I like about this card to begin with? Like I've already touched on, finishing his class. Long shots, finesse shots, and power shots, all absolutely brilliant. He's without doubt a goal scorer. I have no complaints about his shooting ability. I think he's great in front of goal. His positioning, also very nice. Floats into good areas, which is uh, very, very useful. Passing was good for a striker. Nothing significant, but good enough. But then we come on to the dribbling. Now this was the most frustrating part for me because in some instances his dribbling actually felt really nice and if you watch the footage you'll see there's some moments where he like does some like really really good um, turns and, f and, and looks easy to manoeuvre but ultimately that was not consistent at all. That was like a rare occasion. Uh, for the most part, like on the turn, he's alright, but he's just not a brilliant dribbler. He's not the kind of player you're going to dribble um, through defences with unfortunately. Physically, another area where I thought he was, once again, alright, but not quite as good as the stats suggest. Definitely does have enough strength to like, hold up the ball against like fullbacks, but against centre-backs, they are going to dominate him. He just doesn't quite have the fight that some other players do indeed have. Also, wasn't too big on the stamina. 85 stamina is 
it's, it's just not good enough at this stage of the game, especially for a Piercy Lone Striker, because you're just going to burn them out quite quickly, and that did happen with this guy. So if you're going to, if you want to use him up front by himself, you maybe want a striker on at the bench. So uh, just something to consider there. Also, Aerily, I wasn't overly pleased with him. Um, obviously, he's not the tallest of players, but he does have a good jumping start and nice head accuracy. But um, yeah, he's, he, he did struggle to win aerial battles for me. His pace was all right. Like ultimately, he's not rapid. He's not got that breakaway pace. But you know, he's pretty much what you see is what you get with his pace. He's quick, but he's not going to break away through a defensive line unless they've got you know like slow defenders. So um, all in all, the verdict, as I say, is it's a really good card in terms of finishing, but just doesn't offer much else in other, in other departments compared to other high rated players at this stage of the game. Obviously, if this card came out a few months ago, he would get a much better rating. But at this stage of the game, like I think decent is probably the best I can put him at. Like I don't think it's a terrible card by any means. As I say, I think the finishing ability is you know pretty top tier, but everything else just not quite there, not quite on that level, sadly. So, uh, yeah, ultimately, I think the price is fair, and if you're looking for a La Liga striker, I just think there are many better options already available in the game. And once again, like, that player of the moment, Jao uh, player of the month, Jao Felix, sorry. I know it's not available now, but if you've still got that card, that item is better than this Moreno. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this card. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a like rating on the video, and subscribe if you are new, and drop any questions you've got in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.